You know, it's like there's just been a lot of stuff over time that's added up, and it's all remembered. Every bit of it. Because I worry about you. You're my little baby. Well, when I tell you something, I am telling you the truth. And I'm not lying. And for you to not believe me... Okay. Okay, why don't you believe me? Because I've... There's been situations that you... I've caught you in lies. Your credit, credibility is not... Are you, you sure got to gain that trust, Dr. Are you sure it's not because I'm trying to protect you and not let your feelings get hurt? No, you've got to earn that trust back. Hey, if, if I thought something was true, I think I'd be taking care of it. And I might cover over it just because I don't want your feelings to get hurt. My feelings you can't get hurt any more than they already have. Honey, your mind can't either. I can't either. And I don't want to go on like this anymore. I didn't I get to, I want to take care of this. And, I mean, if you want to come down right now, I say we'll go around to every family member tonight. If you want no, to it will be a it will be a conference where everyone's there, including Angel. Because I want Brittany to say in front of Jesse what she said about him, and I want her to say say it. I want her to look him in the eye and say what she said about him when I first met him, what she said to you and dad, to make you guys hate him. Because he is the best guy for me. We, we, we have never been able to get a chance. Because he feels uncomfortable because he says that the second time he met dad is because we knew was supposed to get her ass beat because she got drunk and tried to run us over that night. He thought she was going to get her ass beat. And the next day, he went over going to the Chinese restaurant where Bring Her Dad were, and he said that my dad gave him dirty books. And I come to find out it's because Brittany run her big mouth and run a bunch of lies about just him is what she did. She knew nothing about it, and Dad believed it. Dad believed it. Do you know how Dad has always stood up for you and for you? I don't know. To the point where, I mean, he was almost embarrassing. Don't know that. Dad, Mom, I straight up told you guys stuff all the time about Bingo that I knew. And you guys totally disregarded me and went and listened to me. What were we supposed to do? You did it in high school. She did it when she got her school. I know, and you guys didn't invade her. school with you. You didn't invade her privacy like you did mine. Hey, things were a little bit different. You were a firstborn. We it's were not an new, excuse. We were new at the teenager business. Do you know what Carol O'Connor said one time? This is a guy who used to be on a sitcom uh, on TV for years and years, an older guy. His son committed suicide, and he was on a talk show one time. And Dad remembered this when you guys were in high school. And this man said, if you want your kids to live and survive, you have you have to invade their privacy. You have to know what your kids are doing, or your kids are going to die. And that's stuck in your dad's mind. So did dad invade Bingo's privacy when she was in high school? We knew it was different in high school than you were. Little do you know, but Bingo was with her boyfriend going on back roads getting fucked. Well, when I hear that, if you're telling me right now that you didn't know that, that's because you didn't invade her privacy like you did mine. You didn't know what she was doing because you thought she wasn't doing anything wrong. Did you know that Kyle Grouch tried to get her to do meth? And in fact, I think he did get her to do meth. These are things she told me while I lived with her. Hey, Brittany, let's, let's get over with you, okay? What's in the past? I'm comparing how you've treated me and how you've treated me, okay? There's a big difference, a big difference. And the way that she my gets... Parents, hey, do you want me to tell you how much different my parents treated me than they treated my mom? Do you want me to tell you some of the stuff my mom got away with? But that's because she was the fourth kid. I was the first kid. I had it the worst. I hated my parents. They, I, I mean, I was the example. I was the one that they were getting tuned in on. Uh, I mean, I had a miserable uh, teenage years. And you know, 